Hey, uh, I figured I'd do something different since I got a bit of time, and it's that time of year where games are being showed off. So, I haven't seen Devolver Digital uh, and their stuff. So I'm gonna do, I guess, a reaction video of sorts. I don't know. I felt like doing one, so, hey, maybe I'll do one for the PC gaming show too. So, I'll play the video. I haven't seen it yet, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, give me a sec to set it up. Literally a second. You goons listen, and you listen good. I don't give a flying fuck flip about the marketing reports. We are losing <laughs> They always go over the top with this shit. Everything we can on that front. The hell you have, Zane. The hell you have. What you've done are worldwide exclusives, fancy transitions, expensive pre-recorded presentations, fake live events, live live events, and some dipshit narrative garbage. Okay, it is 1080p. Don't go anywhere. Melissa, data. The data is clear. The industry analytics point to fragmented attention in every consumer focused vector but one. And that is? The, the countdowns. Those ridiculous 30 minute celebrity soaked attention grab countdowns before a company's actual presentation actually starts actually. <laughs> they are big, <laughs> dumb, wasteful, empty, and they work! She's right. I've run a lot of. Of course I'm fucking right! So this year, we're counting down. That's the focus. The countdown. It's all about the countdown. No holds barred. Anything they always up the ante every year. Pulled out of where the fuck stops are that people keep pulling them out of. I mean, that, okay, sure. at a certain we'll point, they need to, we get to zero? surely they're going to stop. It doesn't fucking matter. You can propose to your mistress for all I care. I just want big number consumer eyeballs drying out as they watch a marketing laden countdown where we're drip feeding them brand awareness and purchase intent until they climax in their G fuel soaked gamer chairs. No, not yet. Gross. I'm getting it though. <laughs> so who do we have on the G fuel soaked? <laughs> not me. No. Nope. Right? Do, do a celebrity? Ooh, can we get James Vanderbeek? <laughs> Team Pacey, huh? I'm just saying to the people. A are gonna... giant fucking robot with whoever the shit we want inside of it hosting our show. Inside of it. Hosting our show. I'm sorry, what? Hold. We've designed, developed, and deployed a wideband interlocal net modulated telepresence experience through which a virtual host can virtually host our virtually hosted countdown broadcast. So what, like a Zoom call? No, no, not like a Zoom. Margaret? Now. Mental. What the fuck is that? What's up, <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to know who that is, but hey. <laughs> that that was uh that was words. A lot of words and uh yeah. Virtual. Are they ripping? I mean, they're lampooning Nintendo, clearly. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh man, I'm gonna wake up in a cold sweat tonight just hearing this. Uh, I noticed you stopped counting the numbers. Twenty whatever is not a number, my guy. Let me see if we can get you some kind of a break from the numerals. Madge, my name's Margaret. Shut up, Madge. Does this, does this thing, uh, I'm sorry. Does this thing have access to the feeds? Yes. It has access to the feed. All feeds, every the feeds on the planet, heck, even deep into translocal space. With a little extra juice, we could even transmit all the way. Sure, yeah. Strong, can it? Uh, can he? Can he do trailers? Yes, trailers, number station feeds, launch codes, replicate. I love that we're a few minutes in and they haven't shown anything yet. The basics. 
It's also equipped with a tricordal thermonuclear central mass displacement cannon. Hot stuff. Uh, give me the button. Okay, yeah, sure. Whatever. What say you and I put the marketing into the Devolver Digital Marketing Countdown to Marketing and give the fine audience at home something to throw money at their screens for? Uh, it works. We did it. It's been a difficult to blame release date trailer. Making and three quarter billion dollars and we use it to hawk a video game. Here. Indeed, art style. Gameplay. I mean, I, I, I appreciate the look. It's cute looking. <laughs> Man, AAA studios have just made me cynical. It's like, no gameplay, no buy. That's the rule I'm following. But admittedly, this is this is the Volvo. August 11. Oh, here we go. Alright. Hey, that's pretty similar. It's kind of got a Don't Starve vibe to it. For whatever reason, the logo reminds me of Gravity Falls as well. <laughs> the animations are cool. Oh shit. It's developed in my home state. That's interesting. It's an Australian game. I might have to check it out. Devolver? No, we didn't make that. Massive Monster made it. People are gonna be obsessed when it drops. I mean, it depends. Like, I'll look into it a bit more. If it's survival, eh. We publish you know how I am. the games. That's important stuff, you know. It's basically the same thing as eat. making the games without all of the, you know, effort, creativity, time, energy that goes into making said game. I think of us as a humanitarian service, like FEMA or Crocs. You guys see the numbers? That sheep game or whatever did us a duper mad spike. Wild stuff. Really wild stuff. It tastes like baby food. Have you guys seen the numbers? I know, right? No, you don't know! What do you know? I know the numbers keep going like this, I'm gonna buy a house. What's going on? Is it working? On the fucking moon. Like, you know, pre-sales, engagement. But these numbers are like nothing we've ever seen. <laughs> the guy though, on the right good. looks like Nicole a bit. Like nothing anyone has seen. Something's wrong. I guess on the left? I don't know. This needs to stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude in a suit. Corral up all your little horses, take a breath, make some sense. What I'm saying is that it doesn't make sense. It can't make sense. According to the tracking, we just- Are you guys fucking with the numbers? No one's fucking with anything. We just rolled a shit hot trip. What the holy heck is going on with these numbers? What's at the end of 2001 with gigantic Jupiter space baby and Dave's all shriveled up and computers going nuts like beep boop 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 beep boop? あ、この子を知ってるな。懐かしいな。時間違うな。アセンブラ。うん、懐かしいね。このデータを解析するのに具体的な時間がかかります。It's a weirdly specific amount of time. I wonder if I hope to trip. <laughs> Yo, wait, is this? I've played I've played this. Angerful, right? I tried the demo out uh a while back. Dude, this was a lot of fun.
does it, it looks a lot more polished now. It's kind of like a very weird super hot without the time slowdown. No release date though. Yeah, I might have to do that. I quite enjoyed Angerfoot. I love how they've, like, they've already shown two games that I'm into. Somebody tell me what the shit is going on. Versus, like, the other stuff that, eh. What if it's, it's the... Yeah, 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 that's great. What if it's the... Yeah. No, yeah, what if it's the trailers? Hey, you big dumb robot, uh, do you think... Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking something a little more along the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knew it. Let's make sure. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen this on... Uh, it was on Nintendo's Direct. It's the one where you cheat at card games, right? Pretty sure this is that. I mean, it, it's it's a cool concept. Oh, it's available now. Like big time massive. What are the numbers look like? I guess it depends how much it costs. Like, I'm not sure. This isn't real. This can't be real. It's like some kind of video game. Singularity. No. No, it can't be. Did he just say video game singularity? Oh my god. Wait. What are we talking about right now? Video game singularity. Whoa. Is a hypothetical modern moment of absolute corporate convergence. An event horizon into which kaleidoscopically manifold fractionated conglomerate interests are inescapably pulled and at a single point of infinite density, compressed against the entropic inevitability of, like, I don't know, years of inter industry corporate mergers, acquisitions between developers, publishers, platform holders, and soulless holding companies. Everyone buying, merging with, and acquiring everyone else until the only fucking thing left anymore. How much weed did they smoke to come up with this plot, honestly? Omni Company eating up everything in its way! It can't be bargained with! It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear, and it absolutely will not stop ever until everything is one thing, and that one thing is everything. And that thing is us? Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ! So, two moon houses? You're not getting it, Satan. Imagine all platforms, all iconic characters, all methods of monetization. I love how with these conferences, I mean, they tried to follow a plot thread and have continuity, but I think after the third one, they just abandoned the plot and just started this new one. I imagine next year, I wouldn't be surprised if they just ditched this plot point. They could be playing Apex Fort Zone on an Atari Dream Station 64. And it would all be <laughs> Atari Dream Station 64. No. How did this happen? It's the mech. It's gotta be. It's the only thing powerful enough to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys? You guys follow the directions, right? Oh, of course! Well. That doesn't look very refreshing, what he's drinking. It's just like sludge.
plucky squire. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot roamed the land in search of adventure, battling the. Yeah, that's a that's a little Zelda 2 reminiscent. And generally being very heroic. But then one day he discovered something rather curious. Oh. A world he never knew existed. Damn it! I, I, I like ugh. the two D stuff kind of got me going a bit, but now. So this this does look cool. This is like. A mix of uh, Mario Odyssey. It can kind of go into 2D worlds. It looks nice. I did like the art style in this 2D though. Kind of hoped it was a 2D game. What the fuck happened to my shirt? <laughs> Tom Clancy's Animal Crossing. I just got sent a review copy of Metal Gear Cooking Mama Mobile. I don't even know what that means. Do you even know what that means? The, the industry's folding in on itself. Do, do, do this call, this call. It slaps real hard, 10 out of 10. Fuck, that'd be a good t-shirt to have. G Fuel just put in an offer to buy Valve. Microsoft bought Bethesda again, just for fun. Just what the ever shitting fuck fire have you assholes done now? Oh, um, uh, Plucky Squire. We just did the Plucky Squire thing. Yeah, it was legit the sauce. To my robot, what have you done to my goddamn robot? And what's with your shirt? It's the singularity. So what is the problem? The video game singularity. Somehow this big dumb whatever the shit is channeling egregious amounts of hype and marketing power into a single point and everything is converging on that point right here. So what is the problem? Soon Devolver Digital Inc. will become the sole arbiter of all video games and everything that goes along with it. A, a lone single mega platform with total and unstoppable absolute command over everything. So what is the problem? We don't know what we're doing. The Devolver barely functions as a marginally successful video game publisher. We can't be the, the central ordinal nexus of all industry. Why not? Why, why are you getting this? Oh, I get it. This is the, uh... Yeah? You can't... <laughs> I dig the music. It's a skateboarding game, isn't it? I mean... I say that with... A skateboard on the fucking screen, like, stating the obvious, but... Oh. DMCA? It just muted. I didn't do anything. I th oh, I'm pretty sure this is a YouTube upload, just... Cause it's on, uh... Whatever, GameSpot. I would imagine they muted this section because DMCA is a bitch and you can't watch anything these days without getting copyright strikes or monetization removal. Um, right. I guess we'll, we'll just sit here in silence until the music comes back. <laughs> Silent skateboarding game. Here we go. Jesus, Annapurna Interactive just merged with Mountain Dew. Fuck, they're gonna make a soft drink out of Journey. Ah! It's not gonna stop. The hype is too great, it's the county. We made a countdown with nothing at the end just to get viewers and built a machine we don't understand to do the counting down. We were so preoccupied with whether or not we could, we didn't stop to think if we should. We can't stop the counting. It can't even stop itself counting. This machine is a mechanized construct of of. <laughs> this is so dumb. Complicated. It's off the rails, and it's just as stuck as we are. So, no moon houses. No, nothing. First, it will be Devolver. Then it will be everything. We won't even. 
What the? Conversion actualized. It's the mech! The fripping Goran sits with Gronset, son of a smacking shaz butt! Is it almost time? Are we almost ready? Listen! Listen, you have to listen to me. The only way out of this is to... Okay, the Volva. That's a good idea. In the beginning, it is always dark. So they were none. A single loot box coin. <laughs> it is all that remains of my vast empire. Video game wa. They have? Yes. Oh shit. I, I guess that's the end of the video then. No. It hasn't. Video games can arise again. And you. And your dreams and wishes. Open your hand. What are you going to wish for? Then there will be no more video games anymore. As many as you want. And the more wishes you make, the more magnificent video games will become. Try it. I love how he's speaking Japanese. And she's speaking English and it's just completely interchangeable. Got some Terminator plot going here. What, what, what the shit is it doing? I don't know what's happening. It's out of our control. It's under so power. We're locked out. This is not in the contract. This is nowhere in the contract. Well, ain't that some shit? <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, Nintendo Direct thing. So they've all blown up. How are all these characters gonna come back next year? God, this this music. This is like some hypnospace outlaw music. I mean, this would be fun to work on, for sure, but, man. How they come up with these plots every year.
I like that the uh, the credits are also fake. I kind of want that Animal Crossing shirt. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, those ribs look good. Too many games and go and for anyone floating into I mean my thoughts on this are like not what I saw, but the games. Yeah, I mean, aside from the skateboarding one, which I'm not really into skateboarding games. Um they kinda all looked like something I'd be interested in, worth checking out. cool to see that Angerfoot's getting a more polished release. That that was a pretty cool concept. I enjoyed it. The card cheating one, I mean, I don't know. Cool idea. Probably not for me. That uh, adventure game looked pretty good. Um, I think. Uh, yeah. I mean, there were a couple of things in there that I thought would be worth checking out. I'll definitely look around on Steam and see what they are. Um, yeah, overall not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> definitely goes to show that I have more of an interest in indie game these days than the AAA stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this live reaction of sorts. I mean, it's pre-recorded live reaction. See, I'm, I'm talking like them now. I need to go. <laughs> See ya.